Barry McNamee, how are you? Not too bad, thank you. Barry, you're back with your hometown club, I suppose. Tell us how to move from Cork to Derry uh, came and, and, of course, you're captain for the season. Uh, well, I'd say I'm honoured to be captain. Uh, I'd say it's kind of a long process. Like it took a good two months to decide. You no, know, I've spoke to a few clubs, took a couple of months then to decide what I wanted to do, but at the end of the day, like, I worked under Decky before, and uh, for me, it was a no-brainer once he asked me to come back. Yeah, what influence did the new manager that Declan Devine have in your return? Well, obviously, like, I played under him before, won the Cup. Uh, in 2012 and in my opinion probably played the best football in my career so far under him so I'm hoping to <laughs> hoping to go back to them sort of days again. Was there much of a part of the decision going home to you know where you're from as opposed to staying in Cork again from a living point of view? No not really like I really enjoyed my year last year in Cork and like, uh, like you know there was no problems moving away like I enjoyed the year away and enjoyed the change room like it was a great change room down there a great bunch of lads and um, really enjoyed my year down there so it wasn't really a major factor in it, but once I decided to leave, I decided that uh, just with Decky coming back, it was there, it was the right fit for me. Yeah, I've seen some of the videos on social media across pre-season. It looks like it's been a, a tough six or seven weeks. Yeah, well, that's it. Like, no, they had a couple of weeks extra on me. I come in kind of in the middle of pre-season, and look, there's been a lot of day, a lot of long days. There's been a lot of double sessions, triple sessions, like a lot of four or five days in a row, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, it's pre-season. It's where you have to put the work in. and. Every, every player's bought on it and you know, they've worked as hard as they can during the pre-season and hopefully we'll see the benefits throughout the year. Yeah, it's always an interesting project, Derry, because it's local players combined with players who, who are moving there from Dublin and from other places as well. How would you assess the squad and, and how things have gone in pre-season heading into this game against UCD on Friday? Yeah, well, again, as I said, like, like from last year's squad, like, there's only maybe three or four still left. Um, a lot of change. Um, a lot of new players have come in. A lot of players like myself have come back again for a second stint. Um, so like we're all just can't wait. Like it's a lot. It's a young squad. It's going to be a fit squad. It's going going to be like there's going to be a lot of work rate. Like a lot of desire that there's kind of the type of players that he's brought in. And we've really all bought into the way he wants to do things. So it's hopefully a big competitive campaign. And I mean, oh, starts with UCD on Friday night. Yeah, your previous couple of years there before you moved to Cork, Derry were competing for Europe and qualifying for Europe and stuff. Last year, they really dropped off in the middle of the season. I'm sure there's a real ambition for everybody there to try and get up towards that top four again, but probably, you know, there's other strong teams going for it as well. As I said, it's going to be tough, obviously, to get up to them top four teams. But again, like last year, whenever they moved into the Brandywell, the Brandywell was bouncing, they got full houses, and you've seen the performances and the results they, they were capable of. Like, so... Again, with uh, Decky bringing in like a lot of local lads again, and with his whole backroom staff being local people as well, like I think the whole city is really going to get behind us, and hopefully we can have a good campaign. But you no, know, it's a it is a young squad, and it probably will take us a bit of time to gel. So the European spots might be a you no know, bit ambitious, but at the end of the day, like we're going to work hard and be competitive in every game, and we'll see where it takes us. Barry, best of luck. Thanks a million. Thank you. Cheers, Barry. Thank you, sir.